Hello, and this is another tip of the week from CAD Tech Seminars. Um, you can find us on the web at cadtechseminars.com, also freerevittraining.com. Uh, what we're going to look at today is lost in space. If you have an object that's lost, you can't find it, how can we find these things out in space? Now in AutoCAD, what we do is we type ZE, -E, or Zoom Extents, and usually you can see a little speck. One thing, about, one thing about Revit is you can't see the speck like we could in AutoCAD. So uh, let's take a look at some ways to make that happen. Now I'm looking at the floor plan. You can see that the uh, I've got the zero zero here. You can see the actual the points they're turned on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in ZE for zoom extents. And when I do that, you'll see it jumps out. Now it's way out there. I can start rolling my mouse in and see what's going on. <clears throat> now if I want to make sure I get everything, I happen to be on first floor. Um, if I come out here and do, let's say, a little window, you'll see down in the corner, just like in AutoCAD, just things out here, right? Because that's the reason it's, it's pushing that corner. Now, I'm on first floor, so probably I'm only grabbing a small sliver. And if this is a topo that goes down or things that go up, I want to make sure I grab everything. So I'm going to go to Site Plan, and I'm going to do the same thing, Zoom Extents. Now, even in Site Plan, you notice I'm picking up something different here. So the, the point's over here now. Now, so I've got something probably way out here. So I'm going to do a little crossing, and there it is. So out here, I happen to have a stair. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit delete the stair so that goes away. I can redraw it later. I'm going to do ZE again, or ZA, whatever one works for you. Now, you'll notice that where the, 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 this object is positioned, there may be things out here around the edge, just like AutoCAD does. Now, to find out, to make sure, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to verify that my view range. Now, you see it's set to 200. I'm going to set it to 2,000, 2,000, and then negative, um, let's say, 2,000. All right, let's drop this to, let's say, negative 2,000. Actually, I should put the cut point somewhere different. Let's just cut point it maybe zero. Well, it's good to have it up high anyhow. All right, we'll set this down to negative 200, and we'll set the, the view depth to negative 2,000. So now we've got a 4,000-foot range that we can see here of objects. So I'm going to hit Apply on that. We may go change that back after. Um, now I'm going to do a little ZE again. Okay, so we pick up the same items. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and do a window around these like so. Now when I do it, you notice it says you pick up 20 items. And you're like, great, 20 items. Cool, there's something down here, but what is it? If I drop this down, you'll see it says property lines, topography, walls, picking up all kind of good stuff. So you're wondering, well, I can't see it. Um, that's the downside. You can't see it. So there's a little trick we can do to see it. I'm going to create a group of these items. Now when I create a group, it's just going to be a temporary group. I hit OK on that. And you see it puts a dot. OK, now if all goes well, we're going to zoom in on that dot. Now we can start zooming in, start zooming in, start zooming in, start zooming in, and presto, it's a beautiful site plan. So uh, what we have out here is we have the actual site. Now if I'd like, I could actually be in the group is created. I'm going to go ahead and actually delete that group. Now don't panic, okay? It's actually saved down at the bottom. Let's zoom out a bit, zoom extents. Okay, I hit zoom extents again. Notice we've still got things out here. So I'm going to do another window and see what else we can pick up. Now I'm going to do as close as I can. I have two more things. Again, we'll group those. Uh, group 2, uh, there's a dot, so for some reason they didn't pick those up. So let's again zoom on in and see if we can see anything here. We may or may not. I'm not even sure what these items are or where they are. It could be one out at this corner, one out at the other corner. So it could be there and here. So I'm going to ungroup those items and I'll do it with maybe a little window here. Alright, so there is a property line out there. Okay, so there's one floating out here. Now I could just delete it. I saw, think I have the property line already. And there was another one in this area. So again, I'm doing another crossing, and I pick up another one. That's a wall, wood siding stud. We'll delete that one. All right, so what we've done is we've actually um, removed these items out in space. Let's type ZE again, and bam, we have the building. So we had a few items lost out in space. Now we want that site plan back again. Now, you, you may have to take a moment to place it, but what I can do is I can go down to the bottom, uh, expand the groups, right? Now I'm going to have a model group, one and two. Now, two really didn't have anything in it that I could... Figure. So I'm going to take this group one, I'm going to drag and drop it, and uh, I'm just going to place it. What you'll see is there's a site plan. All right, so uh, those are the elements. So if we go to 3D now, uh, we can see there's uh, one part of the building, I guess this was part that was created and got lost in space. And then we have the new pieces that are actually here. So uh, that was out. that's what was out there, and I'm going to do a ZE again out here, and notice the zoom extents is taking care of it. So now you can move it back where you need it to be using a line move and all that good stuff. But there you go. That is how to find items that are lost in space in Revit. It can be done in all versions. And if you have any que questions, check us out on the, on the web at freerevittraining.com.
therevitguy.com or if you want to friend us on Facebook, The Revit Guy. Uh, that's our location on Facebook. All right, y'all have a good day.